be there. Hi there. Ho there. I don't even know what that means, but I saw it on TV once. I just kind of like the way it sounds. I uh, hope all everything's okay with you guys. A uh, little bit of news. Let's see. Bars are opening up on Friday for us in L.A. Uh, murder is up in L.A. Um, that's the biggest news here. Murder and bars are wide open. Uh, what else? Oh, last night, uh, my friend and I watched Apocalypse Now, the final cut, which came out last year for the 40th anniversary. It's Coppola's definitive cut. It's three hours long. Best version I've ever seen. I've seen each version. Uh, probably seen the movie close to 10 times. This is the best version. And the way he chops it up into basically chapters as they go up the river is really amazing. And there's actually a segment in there that I've never really looked at from a racial perspective. But I'm seeing this, uh, I saw this as a, in preparation for seeing Spike Lee's uh, The Five Bloods, which is his Vietnam epic coming out on Friday. So anyway, there's a segment. They're almost all the way up the river, and uh, they went to this army outpost. All black people, no commanding officer. They were just stuck there as like sacrificial lambs. And the craziest scene is when Willard, uh, Captain Willard, which is, uh, which is um, Martin Sheen, he says, who's in charge? And the one guy says, I thought you were. Just crazy. It's just crazy because, you know, in the Five Bloods, we're going to see how African-Americans were treated in Vietnam. And they were treated basically just like front lines you know, uh, sacrificial lambs. So anyway, it's such a great film, and the reveal with uh, with Brando uh, couldn't have been better. Especially with this with this new print, uh, you see him. It's almost like his head comes in from the dark, and it looks like a lunar eclipse, where the light just kind of goes around his bald head. Friggin' amazing, friggin' amazing. Uh, it's one of the best films ever made. Probably the best war film ever made. Definitely the best Vietnam film ever made uh, up until this point. So I highly recommend watching this version of Apocalypse Now and then seeing The Five Bloods on Friday. Anyway, you know, I was just talking about that because I was excited. Um, I even have my filmmaker hat on, which uh, was given to me free for subscribing to Filmmaker Magazine back in the 90s. All right. Now we're going to do a little bit of reading, and it's going to be a short one today. All right. George C. Scott at a Bob Hope roast said this, which is number 448. He had a winning smile, but everything else was a loser. That poor Bob Hope. He also had kind of a nice ski slope nose as well, as if I remember correctly. He not only overflowed with learning, he stood in the slop. It's not Bob Hope. That is Sidney Smith saying this somewhere during the 1800s about Macaulay. He stood in the slop. That was 449. 450. Listening to the Fifth Symphony of Ralph Vaughan Williams is like staring at a cow for 45 minutes. Aaron Copeland said that. Um, I'll take your word for it, pal. I'll take your word for it, pal. And, uh, 451, we're going to leave it at this because this is literally one of my all-time favorite quotes. Uh, John F. Kennedy once said this, what a wise man. Forgive your enemies, but never forget their names. Forgive, but don't forget. Forgive, but don't forget. Forgive.